Another day, another dollar. Another dollar to spend on the cup of coffee you so desperately need to get through the day. It's an old gabled diner, kind that used to be someone's house. The chimes on the door tinkle as you enter, and the inside is filled with the kind of electric chandeliers and candles that make it both dark and bright at the same time. You sit down at the bar and say coffee to the wrinkled old figure behind the bar. How do you take it? No cream, no sugar, black. Black as the devil's asshole, says the figure behind the bar. No, wait, I I want cream. How do you take it? Uh, With cream. Creamy as the devil's asshole, says the figure behind the bar. No, wait, I don't want cream. Black as the devil's asshole, says the figure behind the bar. I I want sugar. Uh, How do you take it? With sugar. Sweet as the devil's asshole, says the figure behind the bar. I I want cream, too. Uh, Sweet and creamy as the devil's asshole, says a figure behind the bar. Drink. Delicious. All right. Well, that was um, The Devil's Asshole on Itch.io. And uh, it's tagged as Assholes, Coffee, Devilry, Horror, and Twine. Good timing on the music. That was just accidental. Uh, Welcome to Getting Weird With It. I think that's what this is going to be. I'm just going to try to combine a bunch of weird things that I've amassed. Um... You know, there's still some stuff coming in, and I'm willing to accept recommendations for weird shit, uh, game packs, etc. If you still want me to check out stuff like that, if you find anything you think I might like, um, check out the Vine Sauce contact form and send it there. And, uh, you know, my mods will take a look, and then I will. So anyway, thanks for joining. And let's see if we can uh, play some stuff that is as good as this. Okay, so... Dawn Dusk Dream Sewage. That's the name of this next one. Not as good as the Devil's Asshole as a name, but pretty good. So, what do you even, what do you even play? Oh, lost are you? Stuck was I. Take the ladder down. Yes, I, I am I am lost because this ladder does not work as I am made of cube. I have no legs, but I must climb. I once thought myself lost too. I have come to embrace this persistent hopelessness. Hopelessness of the fate, the fading glimmers of recollection that hover at the edge of my sanity, ever eluding my mortal grasp. I am but a sentient husk filled with perpetual confusion. The feeling of familiarity constantly flickering, toying with my fractured mind as it slips once more into the void. You seem familiar, a memory of a dream perhaps? An ill-fated past encounter from another reality in which both our forms were present? If this is this but a trickle, a passing glimpse of momentary subconscious retention, I cannot recall. Welcome to the sewage plant, the tragic remnants of a dream. A spiritless processing complex flooded with ill-fated beings such as yourself. Here we linger, tethered to this decaying facility, adrift in the endless void between reason and I... 
I know so I know those those words. Knowledge, education, the fundamental skills, the grand mysteries, the secretive joys, all linger in the tattered pages of these moth-bitten human leather-bound books. I've poured countless hours into my studies. I am wise beyond belief. Oh, as I so then lad. Worship me as you do your deities. I and I alone know how this plane functions. I have unraveled the mystery of these foul sewage pipes. I have found bliss and understanding beyond reason. I shall teach none. These secrets are mine. This knowledge shall wither and die with me. I shall be the last of the educated few. The great reader of the sewage plant, the high priest of books, unchallenged, lest another read these tomes. Honestly, though, who here would have time for that? Our patience has dwindled, our attention but a husk. Scratch. Um. What am I playing? Twist, contort, spiral. Weave your way through the metallic piping that endlessly coils these accursed planes. Warp, bend, snap, and tear. How pitiful, how hopeless, how tragic, woeful is this form. That which struggles to squeeze into the brittle ducts that line these damp, fungus-scattered walls. These hands bleed as I push them into the piping, bones splintering and veins gushing dark fluid onto the uncaring flooring of this complex. Crouch, squeeze, burst, and rend. I will smash my head against these iron siphons, blistering my brain matter, corroding my broken memories evermore as I attempt to become one with these pipes. Well, that's a good King Gizzard album name. All of that. I stand here, a fractured mortal, seeking an unobtainable joy. The bliss of melding this flesh form with the sewer works. No matter how much I sludge... Sorry, no matter how much sludge I consume... Noth it, sludge as a verb is also good. Nothing can fill the void that lingers in my putrid heart. I like to sludge off... You know what I'm saying? I am but a swine being, nightmares of the vast sewers, flesh-bound mortal of this realm. I like this guy. Here I dwell, observer of the sludge core, whittling away my days with the pitiful consumption of pipeline ooze secretions and waking nightmares of the vast sewers. How I long for meaning in these lonesome walls, drab sewage complex in which my form sluggishly exists. This heart yearns for adventure, for passion, for love warm embrace of acceptance, a kind touch of joy, and the fleeting sensation of happiness. Yet, all I can muster are these words, and all I can put my limbs to is the consumption of bland sewage matter. How cruel this bewildering stationary life. So, if anyone is commenting currently, Vin, do you miss weird games yet? Not yet. Uh, tread carefully, for these are poison glades. We <laughs> witness the toxic beauty of the blood flower. The cruel glare of the glorosia lily. Uh, the bitter lick of the scotch broom. There is such grace in the simplicity of death. These plants, blooms, and fungi are but the harbingers of non-existence's sweet embrace. To live close to such marvelous creations is to know bliss ever present the option for escape. My tongue is riddled with poison sores, for I, much to my sorrow, have been cursed with the form still clings to this life. I could toil over these venomous cocktails of my own creation for a millennia or more, still these septic sores, septic spores would not take me. Curses, how cruel this life, lethal is but a joke to my mortal husk. I am impervious, I am unbreakable, I am the wretched garden dweller, hidden be between the intricate piping of this savage sewer plantation. I shall, I seek release, yet all I find is perpetual pain. <laughs> yeah, me too. Listen closely, because I'm only going to whisper this. Ahem. Yeah. Don't tell my cousin over there, but I don't actually believe in any of this nonsense. Truth be told, I'm more of an agnostic. Queeze. I've never really been one for a sludge deities and whatnot. I mean, the robes here are silky, rather expensive, and feel as though you're tightly wrapped in a blanket. 
made entirely of angel feathers scattered with delicate hugs, making each comfortable moment more joyous than the last. I mean, honestly, you could study textiles and fashion design for a millennium and still not produce something this comfortable. Why aren't these standard issue to everyone? I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that these would be a global phenomenon phenomenon if more people knew of any W of these fabric-based splendors. It is no less than a tragedy that my, only my cousin and I get to experience these, yet... You know... I've even thought of selling these myself, but between the chapel maintenance and screaming into the void, hoping for the ancestral sewage specters to arise from their uh, grand <laughs> slumber, <laughs> so little time for anything else. These robes, ah, so snugly, so warm and gentle. Who writes shit like this? You're not even wearing clothes, are you? Uh, why am I even wasting my breath on a sewer born? Rat-fleshed, rodent-eyed wastekin such as yourself. Just please promise me that you won't say anything to offend my cousin. He has a very sensitive heart, and I'd hate to see it broken. He used to cry for days at a time on more than one occasion. The tear-riddled shenanigans lasted for over a week. Tear-riddled. Poor soul. Please. Ho, ho, ho. Are you yet to embrace the grandeur of the ever-oozing sludge deity? Alright, I've had enough. What is your aunt? Sign me up. I... Yes. Slime, gunge, bleach, and ooze. These are the sacred foundations of our order. Which of the fundamental cores are true to your being? Um, slime and gunge, please. Wise choice, rodent wanderer. May gunge fill your pores and slime guide your vision. Seep forth into the waterway of life and spread your slime-strewn message to the edges of this universe. Push beyond and preach further than any pitiful mortal creature of this existence. I'm fourth mortal closer and closer. This pit, where the pit has been waiting your arrival, let your being seep into the sewer works. Lose yourself to the sludge. Fuse your crumbling soul with the de crying, decaying gunge ooze seeping through the labyrinth pipe. Yes, I will go into the pit. You know, visually, I'm not really getting gunge and sludge and slime and ooze from this game. Drowned, drowned, drowned in sewage. Gargling wastewaters, esophagus ruptured, lungs burst, muddied veins filled with fetid sludge. Greetings, mortal, another broken soul, form shattered, eternally ensnared in the web of non-existence. Feel the void calling, the eternal chasm between life and the darkness surging through the endless spaces, lingering on the edges of the seams of sentience. How cursed one is to linger, to dwell in this dark void infinitely, gradually losing oneself as time slowly, meaninglessly, and painfully seeps ever by. Souls amass in the darkness, screaming in silence as their very essence is pulled from them. Every relationship and moment lived, crumbling as the memory of their brain matter unwinds. One cannot stop this, none can escape. Mortals can only linger, eternal in their plight, their putrid, cell-born suffering. No beings left on their cherished worlds. No minds spasming in recollection of the lost. Now go now, suffer as they have. Watch in terror as your existence dwindles. As your very being decays, observe as the void consumes you. Why? Boy, I love it when games change the resolution of my entire screen. Try that again.
Okay, this is a game called Demonic Faces. I, I can't even capture it properly, can I? Okay, one moment, please. Okay, again, this is something called Demonic Faces. Um, you are Zugon, a nightmare creature with great ambitions. You dream, even nightmares have dreams, of one day ruling the nightmare universe. But you must escape from the subconscious. It's a hell of a title screen. Do I just avoid the other jack-o'-lanterns? Um... So... So this is gonna be one of those getting weird with it, huh? Like, this is true crusts. It's like that movie True Grit, but it's true... Gunge. It's gob. Um, also, epilepsy warning. So, do I just avoid the pumpkins? I mean, the faces, the demonic faces. The music is good, at least. I don't think this pack was vetted. I think this was just something that I, um... Oh. Yeah, this is weird, but you have to... You have to expand the enemies. This is confirmed. But if you get too big, then you, you... Then that happens. What the fuck kind of game is this? Like, whomst would think up the shit. I guess the same could be said for everything I played today so far. It's either amazing writing or amazing gameplay. That's getting weird with it. I shrunk too much. You have to balance between not shrinking too much but not growing too big. That makes any sense whatsoever. Of course it doesn't. Let's move on to the next one. It's called Foam. I have high hopes for this segment. Starting with the devil's asshole. It could only get better and better. That's, there's foam. It's got some amazing resolution. That's better. At least the music is good. 
Well, I say good. It's, it's moody. Blank. I don't even know where this pack came from. Like, this has been sitting on my hard drive for several months. And... It just put itself there, probably. There's like a mystery now. Where did this thing come from? This looks familiar. I feel like there's a chance I might have played this in, in the deep past. But it's just impossible for me to recollect. I've played so many games that look like this. Including Mario RPG, um, that I couldn't tell you if I played this exact one. But there's some weird, vague recollection shit happening. There's a secret person behind that tree. Well, I'll tell you what, it makes me miss the music of Demonic Faces. Considering there is no longer any music. How do you get to that bird? here last time beautiful bring me eggs This is definitely bringing my brain to a weird place. Possibly a, a, a um, possibly a place of recollection, but I couldn't say for sure. Still, I still could not say for sure. Still not ringing a bell 100%. You would think becoming a spiky one-eyed mushroom thing would be enough to jot the old memory, to, to yacht the old brain, to jot the yacht. Nope. Jot the yacht is like avoid the noid. But right now the mushrooms don't shoot me. I can play this. The water is so calm, but I just drowned. Learn to swim first. Submarine there. Let me see it. Bluebird. Egg. I love this spot. And I'm drowned again. Now, why would I do that knowing full well that I would drown? I don't know. It's 
I guess I thought something different might happen. You, you just get different costumes that allow you to get to different places. Where's the costume that lets you swim? Is it a frog suit? This lad doesn't remember either. So, yeah, th this lad doesn't even know if, if he's played the game before or if I have. It was worth a shot, tried to brute force it. So, a game like this, this seems like it would take... Oh, I can't be... Egg? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have played this before, and... This seems like it would take a while to complete. But the problem is I'm not really engaged in any meaningful way. Um, which makes me not all that willing to want to finish it and see it through. Also, the water. You know, if you get a costume and you can't really progress, the water will purify you. Check out this last area. Oh wait, no, I did this one. Did it twice. Good memory. Not sure what this game has to do with foam. This jump is impossible. No, you just need the right suit. Frog suit. I swear I saw the moon. It's fucking weird, and even if I have played it before, it, it was like playing it for the very first time. Right. Well, that was foam. That was some of- that was some of foam. This next game is called Peace. If it loads, I'll show you the game called Please. Let's see if I can capture this. Still learning the ins and outs of... How to make OBS do things. Hmm. Crashed. Anyway, yeah, this is a game called Please. Grunge Metallic Texture. Dot PNG. Scratched metallic surface grungy. Um, sludgy gunge gobshite scratched surface texture. Google. Hello, and welcome to the Bromston experiment. 
During the experiment, you will be given instructions. Follow these instructions. When you are ready, please open the door. Please go. Okay, that's a really cool noise that I hate very much. Now, please turn. Whoever made this Good. pack, when you are ready, why? Please open the next door. Please go. Start. The player is lost. Please return to the tracking area. The player is lost. Please return to the tracking area. Please return to. Um, stop. Stop. Waiting for. It's the Stanley Parable, but it's the Shambly Parable. It's an attempt at humor there. This this is a fucking mess. Look at these textures. The the game is very hard to look at. Um, but I see what is trying to take place. So you would think that you could climb this ladder, but that ladder is just for show. Decorative ladder. Best furniture. Items that would normally have a use, but have no practical application. I didn't expect this game to have fucking fall damage. Oh. oh, we got some real bloody eyes now. That looks like a button. Like, press the button in the wall and open up a new area. Oh. I'm free. Is this getting weird with it, or is this trash? The answer is yes. Fuck it, let's just go this way. Now, please turn. But well, one Good. small mercy in ready, life. Please open please the next. Go. What was not Start. hearing that horrible beep noise. Good. When you are ready, press the. Oh. You have passed the first stage. When you are ready, return to the first room and go the way again, but without step-by-step -step instructions. Text, text to speech is still the best way to deliver lines of dialogue. Let me tell you. We get a stage five runner. You know, I kind of want to see some of this game through. But I think we all know that it won't be worth it. I think at least that much is kind of obvious. Car zone. The auto zone, if you will. This video is sponsored by... Ah, auto zone! Get the zone! Get the zone! That would be a, an effective ad. If you're like watching a video or listening to a podcast. 
And then someone's just like, Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola. <laughs> you wouldn't even know what to think for the next hour. <laughs> Except that you'd like to get yourself a delicious gungy sludge water. <clears throat> Oh, stairs. Ah. <laughs> I, re I regret doing that voice. Every sound effect hurts. See. Do we really have an FMV here? Like a pre recorded video? Could this not be done in engine? New player detected. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> There's the about. <laughs> about nothing. There's a load. You know what? That was just painful on every level. This getting weird with it has been shambolic. This next game is called YW and then the game is itself is called Game 5. So I'm, again, I'm expecting the highest level. Oh, my mouse is locked in. Great. How are we going to do this now? I just don't think I am doing it. Never mind. I can't alt tab out of this because it just the mouse is just stuck in here. Uh, all right, please hold. I'm going to try to get this thing in a window. Okay, I downloaded DX Wind and I threw it in a window and it still runs like ass like this this game was just not meant to be played but i can i can do it <laughs> i mean kinda there it is How worth it will this experience be, on a scale from 1 to 10, do you think? The effort I went to, granted it was like 6 minutes of effort, but still, is 6 minutes of getting this in a window worth the 2 minutes that I'll probably play it? Let's find out. fuck is this? Some pretty... Okay, just walk through a wall. Uh. Quality video game. A face or an arrow? Portal, or is that gob? Oh, 
Uh oh, spooky ghosts. Oh no. If that portal was what I was thinking it was, then only this white one is healthy. It's like animals. You know? The, the game just decided to become a different window. And I see some white pixels and, and that's it. Shocking. YW Game 5. By the way, that's 200 megabytes. Where are the megabytes coming from? Game Builder Garage has better graphics than that. I think I'm going to have to pass on doing that again. Yeah, that's going to be a pass from me, dog. Mop Boy demo. Now, this might not 100% qualify for getting weird with it, but after that, I think we need something that is close to a video game. All right. There's, there's music. There's graphics. It might even work. F to interact. Pizza. Chef's favorite. It can heal you. Classic arrow keys to move. Oh, I get it. Dad's blocking the way to our room again. He won't even move from the hall. This dude's name is Gunk. What is going on with all these names? Gunk, Gunge, Sludge. Hey, Mop. I think your brother and sister want to play that cube station gadget thing. But you're not getting by without giving me a good clean... Wait, what? Fuck. Nice one that made the jelly jiggle. This is the next big thing. Wow, okay. Oh, this is a lot more fluid than I expected. It's kind of got a mix of, like, cheap production, like a cheap production look, and a little bit more impressive than that. That's just poop, isn't it? The Great Mighty Poo is in this game. Spuzz. Gurgle stones? Is that what the, the soda's called? Gurgle, gurgle stones? the fuck was in here? The music is surprisingly... Eventful? I, I want to say epic, but that word has kind of been ruined a little bit. Epic. But it is the correct word for what I think this music sounds like. This is kind of 
good? The concept of mopping shit in video game form, I would have never thought would work. And yet, here we are. Alright, well that was Mop Boy. Th this might have even been an old build. Because, um... I think that one's from a while back. So... Again, though, pretty decent. I mean, that was something that almost... Um... You know, that was almost pretty good. I have uh, high hopes for that one. There's potential for it. This one is called Magic Kart Retro Kart Racing. And again, I'm not really sure this fits into the getting weird with it category, but that weird folder, all almost all, if not all, of those games were like poop. I'll be a bird in my life lately, as you'll see at the end of this video. <laughs> I just don't- I don't think we have enough- that's the same noise. That's the same noise. I was gonna say though, I, I just don't think we have enough kart racers in the world. Get ready! Go! It's very basic. Very smooth. <laughs> Listen, conceptually, the items in Mario Kart are good. And thus, why fuck with the formula when it works? I guess the three potions are the bananas. Oh no, that's a boost. Those are mushrooms. We need a lack of do to help us out here. Cause bird just got blocked. This may also be an early build. And no, this doesn't this is more of a grab bag game than a getting weird with it game. But it is fucking weird if you think about it. Let's Let's recap. I'm a bird... ...using magic potions to go fast in a go-kart... ...around an island... ...with wizards and knights and Kirby competing. It's like a scummy Kirby, it's a scurby. Using the same noises as Mario Kart as well, so it's kind of fucking weird. But yeah, I mean, if, if the wheel works, why use a square one? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If the cock isn't sharp, why not sharpen it? If the gunge doesn't gob, then don't... Don't do it. Don't need it. Get rid of it. I like these little lads. They're they're nice. These these blue ice slimes, and also the the bird running is a good obstacle.
the racing itself is it use, it's a little floaty. It's good though. I mean, it's it's solid for what this is. Really solid. But if you want to get that level of polish that other unspecified um, cart, I don't want to say the name of the cart racer I'm thinking of right this moment, even if I have already. But you know, I don't want to say it just in case the company is watching and they decide that they own the mechanics of kart racing. But this unspecified, um, unnamed kart racer has a lot of weight to it. Like, the carts just feel really good. Especially the most recent iteration. Let's just, for argument's sake, say it's the eighth iteration of said kart racer. Gim. And this is a little floatier, but it has a lot more potential than, than most games of this ilk. I think it's pretty good. Drifting is not that fun yet, though. Level design's decent. Check a look. Check a look at one more. Devolver Digital's um, stupid sentences have bled over into my own vocabulary. Let's check a look. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? You get to go inside... Oh! Some people like this too much. But it just reminds me of Jabu Jabu more than anything. And the Bible. Remember the Bible? How come... Like, the last time they tried to make a game on the Bible, it was like on the NES. Maybe there's some hidden Bible games that I'm unaware of, but I feel like... I feel like the Bible, the video game, would be kind of bloody. Like, it would suit the action needs of the modern gamer, if done right. And there would even be some nudity, the genocide. Um, you know, God just wiping out civilizations. Nukes. There's a lot of cool stuff in that book. Um, like Alex from Clockwork Orange, you know. He, he he read it while he was in prison, but he liked the uh, the battles and the, and the gore and the blood. I'm just saying it would be perfect. It it's the right time for the Bible to be ad adapted into a video game, and I'm wondering who would be the best developer from Soft. Thing is though. It would have to be like an anthology series, because there's not just one story in the Bible. Like, then there's the, the Testaments as well, so you're not going to be able to do any justice if you're just doing one, you know, one character. You need multiple characters. Like, you can't just have Jonah inside the whale. Otherwise, that could just be anything. Jonah inside the whale is, is part of a greater whole. What am I talking about? What, what, what in God's name... Am I even on about? Magic Heart was good. Dwellers of the Gut. Let's give this one a shot, too. Has a weird name. Okay. This probably fits getting weird with it. <laughs> Hello, Glump. <laughs> Hello, I need your help, like, 
right now. The whole town has been eaten. No, I'm not joking. The giant straight up consumed the entire town. Alright. Just one tiny long arm. Kind of reminds me of the um, the slimy arms that you like. You would throw like the hands that would stick to the wall. Those were cool for about twenty five minutes until they got hairy and linty, and then they couldn't stick to the wall anymore. Even though it would still make a cool slap noise. Okay, well, yep. Yet again, I am inside something. The fuck? <laughs> I kind of like the solid color visual style, too. I don't think this would work for a full game, but for something like this, it's... Pretty great. Oh, actually, it could work for a full game. It just depends on how much visual variety and identity you give to each area, I guess. But this is cool. Weird. I like weird. That's why I'm doing this. So it's the Windows 95 maze. I understand. Okay. Just inside someone's gut. This is... Yet... Maybe only one biome? In this entire game? It is but one biome? The gut biome? Thanks, I'll be here all week. I took, um, comedy lessons from Joe Piscopo. So now listen up, everybody. Your esophagus, all the way down to your anus. Along the way, there are turrets. They shoot a white... Never mind, no, no, I, I am producing the white substance, never mind. They shoot polyps, complete with blisters on them. And that's how you digest your food. Food particles enter, the food particles translate into food molecules, and then they're shot out of the colon via turret. <laughs> this is how I passed high school. There's a high school, but how come there's no low school? Wonder about that? I mean, hell, Hyrule had low rule, which made no fucking sense, but all right. What are you doing in there? You're people. You, you can't be in there. I watched um, a movie called Scanners. I had never seen it. David Cronenberg. Early Cronenberg. It's a movie about mind control. And Michael Ironside is in it. And, uh, it's good. I wouldn't say it's great, but I enjoyed it. I like Cronenberg and his directing and his weirdness, speaking of, like, strange bodily things. And this movie has maybe one of the most famous scenes on the internet, which is the dude's head exploding, the dude with the mustache. 
and uh, his head just explodes. Yeah, that's in the movie, and there's context. It's a pretty good movie. I was worried because I didn't know if they'd be able to stretch the context, the, the concept, excuse me, into a full-length 90-minute movie, but it works. I'd say there's a couple scenes that don't really do anything for me, but when it works, it's really good. The, the fight scenes in the movie, they just use ESP, and it's just close-ups of people, like, going, yo 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 Like, it's that kind of shit. And, um, I, the face acting of people trying to be, like, um, dangerous psychics using the Force actually made me laugh several times. But, there's some decent concepts, there's some decent, 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 act, decent, money penny, decent action change. And also, there's a couple things in there that were just absolutely amazing in regards to practical effects, which is a, a Cronenberg staple. <laughs> so, I think I died, but I managed to recover some of the people. Slap that shit. be a clip right here. Put this on the no context thing. Yeah. I've had quite enough of this. It was called, uh, called Dwellers of the Gut, and it definitely lived up to its name. I have one more thing here. It's called Duck Mares. So, in other words, perfect game for me. I'm actually going to pair Duck Mares with Baby Duck Video Update. The last thing I remember was coming home from the clinic. It was already late and after spending some time on DuckTube, I checked the clicks coming from the hall, but couldn't find anything. And I went to bed, sure of that. When I opened my eyes, I was in this ducking place. <laughs> Why are the graphics good? I feel like any game that uses the wank shouldn't have good graphics, but this kind of does. And you hear my voice. Yes, but what are you? I just wait a little bit longer. Everything will be okay soon. It's, uh, it's in your beak to protect yourself. And remember, son, you need to defeat every one of those creatures to overcome your fear. What creatures? Don't go. Come back? It should have- it should have said, come quack. Don't call it a come quack. Okay, the game is cute. The gameplay is pretty awful. <laughs> it's just... You just run. And you, you, you do the beak. I think you can actually dodge. 
Also, I wonder if there's a way to um, capture cursor. Let me turn that off. Yeah, that would probably be a little bit better for you, the audience, for me to remove the cursor. Again, I'm still learning OBS, and it's still... Having used OBS for months now, I can say that I, I think it is better in many ways, and a little bit worse in some ways than expert. For a free open source thing, I, I can appreciate it, but I've been frustrated with OBS on several occasions as well. So, yeah, it's okay. But I'm not really quick with it, so if I need to, you know, do a certain function, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. What damaged me? I mean, I'll try again, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure if I can do it because again, the controls are really, really weird. And it looks like you can take damage even after the enemy dies. So that's bad. I also um, rewatched Fight Club for some reason. And, uh, it was just kind of, I guess it's just on, so to speak. And it's still pretty good. I, I like the beginning of the movie more than I like the end of the movie. Like, it's really, really, it was a movie I loved. It's really stylized in the beginning, and I still love it. I love when the Final Fantasy VII music kicks in, too. There's a song in that soundtrack that sounds like Final Fantasy VII, Anxious Heart. But, anyway, um, still a good movie. I like it a little bit better than the book. And yes, I, I read a number of Chuck Palahniuk books, and they're, you know, they're good. But in terms of a movie adaptation, Fincher did a fucking phenomenal job with Fight Club. And, um, it, some of it didn't really, some of it doesn't hold up, in my opinion. Some of the message is like you you can see why every high schooler loved Fight Club when it came out. That said, I still think it's a fucking really masterful, well done movie. And uh I don't think any other Palinic movie I think there's only other like one or two other Chuck Palinic movies that were adapted from his books. And I watched Choke, and that one's not nearly as good as Fight Club. Though Sam Rockwell did a really good job. He always does. I'm trying to think of if there was any other thing. There was a, maybe one or two other things. It was Record Store Day. I got the I got the Rolling Stones vinyl I was looking for. Like a real hipster. Uh, but it's Hot Rocks 50th Anniversary Edition, and I'm really happy I got it. It was sold out uh, in a couple places, and then I found a place that was selling it. But yeah, this is a pretty dark game, um, visually and subject matter-wise. Dr. Duck Turn. I don't know what the heck is happening. It's a dream. It's a ducking nightmare. There's zombies everywhere. Yes. It's, it, there's nightmares and, you know, you have to escape them because they're zombies and, and also you're a duck. Alright, I'm good on this game. It's cute, but, again, not a fan of the combat or the gameplay very much. Though, I will have some duck bonus content for you because I've been saying I wanted to do it. And, um... For people that only watch my weird videos, this is going to be one of those, like, wait a minute, what? 
moments, but I'll try to explain it very quickly. Um, I, I like going to the park and feeding the ducks. Okay, there, it was explained. I feed the ducks. I like geese. That's not entirely true. There's um, the family of geese I was feeding. They were nice. Then the babies grew up. And they're still pretty nice, but uh, one of the geese likes to hiss. And then there's two geese families that stick together. But uh, the other family, they're like jerks. They're like asshole geese. So, not a fan. That said, new ducks just dropped. And I was walking in the park, and they were, they were baby ducks. And they were pretty cool. Here's the first day, the first discovery of said baby ducks. So they were just like chilling and then, you know, the duck mother. So I think there's eight babies. Um, I had no idea. This was the first day I, I had seen the baby ducks. I guess they were just hiding and here they all, they all go together. <laughs> So, yeah, pretty good cinematography too. And then this is the next time I saw them. And I feed them oats, not bread. A lot of people feed the ducks bread. It's not good for them, as I've said previously. But yeah, this is um, just just throw some rolled oats at them and they enjoy. This duck is going a little mental, the one in the foreground, but you know, they're nice. Um, then there was, there was this, I don't know if you can hear it. But this mo mother duck was just standing there. quacking a lot of quacking truthfully um and then her voice got like kind of weird and it and it started sounding like that and i noticed there was a, like a turtle there's a big ass turtle that th i think the mother was looking at and i'm hoping that nothing bad happened and it and the mother was just warning the turtle like stay the fuck away from my three babies this is a different duck entirely by the way there are now and this is pathetic that i know this <laughs> people are gonna be like penny what happened but um there are three duck families there's one with three babies one with five and one with eight <laughs> and when i go for my walks i come across them sometimes i come across one family sometimes all three this is maybe one of my favorite videos I've recorded. So, so here's that same. This is a couple moments after I discovered the duck mother making the quack noises. And then I sat down and then look, look at them. Look at them come to me. <laughs> you can play like the Flintstone sound effects. There's actually like, you can even hear their feet. Um, but yeah, they're, they were very excited for their oats. And they make uh, good noises as well. I don't know if this counts as getting weird with it content. I mean, at this point, I'm the getting weird with it. But it brings me an enormous sense of, of uh, happiness to, uh, to see the baby ducks grow. I like their noises. And yeah, then eventually the mother came over with the other baby. They're still, they're still a little bit, you know, skeptical and, and wary of humans as they should be. I noticed that the, the mother duck is, is moving a little weird. But anyway, yeah, they're, they're, they're cute. And then uh, that same day, I found the other, uh, the, the eight duck family just over here. So here you can see me throw some, some oats and then 
suddenly the quacken is released. And yes, I, I stole that from Goldshaw Farms. It's a good, it's a good YouTube series. So, you know, I, I keep feeding them, but they don't give me pieces of furniture. It's kind of unfair. I kept expecting, like, balloon dresser, froggy chair, nothing. Just bird shit. This is the family with the five, obviously. Okay, so here's... Here's one. So... I saw... A duck on a log. In the bog. It's true. I did. And I said, well, let me just... Take a chance here. Let me just throw some oats and see if, if they show up. And, uh, yep, this was the family with the eight babies. So they, they heard me. They saw the oats. And then... Here they come. Because once, once a couple of them, like, start coming to the oats, then, then there's no stopping the rest of them. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's like I aged 30 years in the past two months. But I'm okay with that. So yeah. They just, you know... They, they uh... They're still, like I said, they're not 100% sure about hu humans. Very, uh... They're very skeptical. But I do think that's for the best. But they still manage to get pretty damn close to me. Like, right there. Like, they'll, they'll get pretty close. They make their little peep noises. The mother stares, though. The mother will eat one oat and, and then just stare for, like, 15 seconds. So that's that's good parenting. But yes, I only wish to feed, not, not actually take the duck. Um, I do have some bad news, which is that the white duck that dropped, that, that um, Pekin duck, that I guess someone dropped off at the park, just gone really sad. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I hope someone, you know, picked it up and brought it to, like, a shelter or something, but regardless, that's getting duck with it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed my duck footage. I don't know. I like it. And I hope you do, too. And... I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the weird games. Again, I am accepting weird game submissions if you have them. I don't plan on doing this all the time, nor do I necessarily plan on this uh, lining up with Sunday. But, you know, every now and then. And I'm glad I could uh, check out some of these awful, awful games. And some good ones, too. So take care. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to feed your duck. Goodbye.